there's a big announcement. Isaac, we gotta get up, bud. So we flew in late. We didn't get to bed till 2 a.m. last night. But we have an appointment for something at 9. So we're painfully trying to get up and get ready. Come on, buddy. We gotta brush our teeth. Get her, Janae. Wake her up. Wake her up. We have an appointment for you this morning. I know that Gedeva slept in pajamas last night. Did you sleep in that outfit? Silly goose. Mom just said, just go to bed. Yeah, <laughs> just get in bed. When it's that late, we just get in bed. I woke up at 8.44. I woke up at 4. I slept for the whole night. Well, I these are my clothes. Laura wanted some milk this morning, but... We were gone long enough that all of our milk has already expired. Well, I really do not want to unpack. Usually I love unpacking. I love getting it done, but I'm not feeling awesome. I'm super tired. Oh, but I have to unpack and start the laundry and stuff. So I'm gonna use a trick that my mom taught me when I was a little kid. Here's what you do. When you don't wanna do something, just do as many things as you are old. So I just have to do 34 things right now and at least it will make some progress. As long as Janae lets me. Quite the yawn. We had to go to um uh a appointment I think or a testing for my dyslexia and yeah. Thank you. Just waiting for our turn. This big sister playing with you. Hi, Janae. Hey. The fridge is pretty empty. We need to go replenish. So our store gives complimentary fruit to kids as we're going around shopping. I love that. So Kendra's planning on ordering groceries online tonight, so we're just getting a few of the essentials for like dinner tonight. And we need more milk. We do not have any milk, do we? Cold? Yeah. Yep, we're in the cold section. Yummy! As a prize for Elise's hard work this morning, we're headed to Panera together. Well, just the two of us and Janae, of course. Yep. Lisey, what kind of cookie are you gonna get? Um, a chocolate one. A chocolate one? Chocolate chip or chocolate chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate. Someone's got energy this morning. How in the world do you have energy? I'm so tired. I'm a kid. Good answer. Those words are painfully true. We're waiting for our food, we're getting it to go, and then we're gonna go pick up the rest of the kids and try to unpack. So Elise, what did you decide to get from Panera? I'm a half salad and with fruit and stuff because I liked it. Mom said you did so good today. How did it go? It was good and I liked it, but it was also exhausting. Yeah, like two hours of that it can be really hard. Uh-huh, but it didn't really feel like two hours. She's a scooter. She's like moving herself like that. <laughs> She's literally scooting She's herself. scooting. She's scooting. She's getting so close to crawling, it's crazy. Yeah, can you go like this? Oh. Well, we still have this huge mess we get to clean up. I'm glad you're excited about it. Um, she likes my hand especially. It's, it's just my hand, Janae. So Elise was pointing out this morning how much these two look like each other. 
Here you go. Thank you. Here. Thank you. Here, Laura. Thanks. And Daddy. You were sharing your cookie with us? Uh-huh. I, I realized that I couldn't eat too much, and I just Thank saw you. that you guys really wanted some. And, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. So this poor little girl is getting a cold. I don't know how well you'll be able to hear it on the camera, but in real life... Oh, you okay, big girl? Anyway, I've been suctioning her nose with this device. <laughs> Laura's microphone. Formerly known as a microphone. But I've gotten some goobers out. I've heard there's like a new device, well, new to when I had kids, that you can put in their nose and like you suck out the boogers. I don't think I'm brave enough for that. I think I'll use this thing. It's always scary to me when our babies have colds because they have binkies in their mouth or they're nursing and if they aren't breathing, that's just scary and dangerous. We think breathing's pretty important. Anyway, she's so chill though. Like she's still just smiling and happy as long as she's being held. She's really kind of clingy today. You just want to hang with mom? Laura, does Nene have a cold? Yeah. Laura, where do you think she got her cold from? You. Do you have a cold? Yeah. yeah, Elise and Laura have both had just like little coughs, nothing major, but it always sounds worse than the babies. <laughs> Isaac's getting us started in laundry land. Did you miss doing chores every day? No. <laughs> me neither. Let's be honest, me neither. I'm sad. Back to chores, back to reality. <laughs> so she's feeling kind of warm to me, so I'm going to take her temperature. You getting sick on us? I think this is the first time I've had to take her temperature. Yeah, I'll try oh, to her arms. You wanna get it? I wanna eat it. 97.7. .7. Not a temperature. So not a temperature. She feels warm to me though, which is weird. 98.2. No fever, but fussy. I'm gonna try to get her to bed. Your baby has a fever? Or are you wearing a little uh, carrying device? And she like stays in it? And she likes fall asleep in mine. Will that baby carrier hold her even if you aren't holding her? Like let go and see what happens. Oh! <laughs> Get her! She's falling! She falls when I let go. So we went with a super simple dinner tonight. Just Woo! little sandwiches and apple and salad. Yummy! Well, let's go to bed a little bit earlier tonight. Is anyone else feeling tired? I'm not tired. I am super tired. I'm not tired at all. You sure? Yeah. I want a nap. You want a nap? So some people love when it's bedtime and to go to bed. Others hate it. They want to stay up all night. That was me. I never like going to bed. I'm a night owl. Let us know in the poll. Do you like going to bed or not? So did you take a nap today? No. Is your body so tired? Yeah! pick a bell I'm crazy because I haven't slept. <laughs> Go to sleep, my precious child. Soon you'll sleep in angels' arms. I'll see you in the morning. Gross. <laughs> Don't bonk your head. <laughs> that tickles him. Our father has a family. It's me. It's you all others too. We are his children. God gave us families to help us become what he wants us to be. This is how he shares his love for the family is of God. It's soft down. So Papa shaves his face. Do you know, I used to shave my face every day too. Now I have a little beard. You do? Yeah. And a mustache. <laughs> it's 
It's a beard mustache. <laughs> it's a beard mustache. Good night, Dad. Good night, Laura. <laughs> what you reading? Random stories. Which book is this one? The Enchantress Returns. What number is it? Two. Caleb's reading Bernstein Bears. So what are you reading? Um, Amber the Orange Fairy. Very fun. Show it to him, it's a whole chapter book. Look at this. Another easy. Mm -hmm. So Ken and I went through the whole whirlwind of our Utah trip and we realized we like haven't had the chance to talk a lot and so we're like going through and talking about it and And I'm a talker. Oh like yeah. I like to talk through everything. Like that's how I process and like think about stuff. So we're going back to the trip, like the beginning. We're like day one. What Let's did talk we do? about it. Because we yeah. just haven't had any downtime and anyway, we have lots of exciting things ahead, guys. There's a big announcement tomorrow. Life-changing. That's true. It's a big Life-changing announcement tomorrow, so we also have to talk about that a lot. We do. Good night, Jay. How's that? We're heading home. How do you feel about heading home? 